you're seeing all these references to making this distinction between clean and unclean. And it's just, I mean, we just read through this entire chapter in Numbers 19 and, and God just being very specific on, hey, if you touch a dead body, you're unclean. You need to purify yourself. You need to be washed. You're going to be separated. You're going to be unclean for seven days. You're going to be unclean until even. And there's all these different scenarios that just over and over and over again. And then you go into the clean versus the unclean beasts and the animals and what you could eat. And then you go into all these, all this difference and this separation and division of clean versus unclean. And it's been kind of way I'm like, man, it's just the Bible just talks about this so much. This is kind of a theme, and I've just been mulling over that for, for quite a while. And, you know, I kind of want to preach on this, but I'm not exactly sure what to cover and what to hit and how to apply it and what we're going to, you know, what I really want to apply and, and, and learn and take away from this passage because it is such a great truth. But I like trying to apply it somewhere that, that's going to make a lot of sense for us today. I mean, one real basic is just general cleanliness, right? Of course, we ought to be bathing ourselves and routinely washing ourselves and, and keeping clean. And a lot of that sounds like a no-brainer today. And part of the reason is because science is caught up to the Bible, and when, there's, when you go to the doctor or you have any operations or medical procedures, now it's a very big deal to have a sterile environment, right? Everything needs to be washed and clean. But you know what? That's not the way that things have been for a real long time. Right. It's relatively recent that, that all of that amount of cleanliness was incorporated in medicine. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't like that like real long ago in the past, but just in our, in our modern recent history here, um, there's people, a lot of people getting infections and, and getting all kinds of diseases and dying because of a lack of cleanliness. And you can get that, I mean, if you, just from reading the scripture and not throwing away the Old Testament, right? Because you're not going to get this teaching nearly from the New Testament that you're getting from the Old Testament here. I mean, God's really spelling this out on the importance of this cleanliness. So, the truth has been here all along. It's just up to people to, to look at it and say, and, and decide, no, this is actually true. I'm not just going to lean on man's wisdom and whatever the doctor says is true at whatever given time period I have to be living in and just rely on that. Because, folks, if we rely on just man's wisdom, it changes all the time. All the time. Every generation that has existed is going to be the one to say, we're the smartest. We know the most. We've got all the answers. The people that came before us, they didn't really know what they were doing, but now we have modern technology. Now we know how to, how to treat people. Now we know what we're doing. That is the way it's always been. People always have this mindset. It's not going to change. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 100 years from now, unless Christ comes back first, it's going to be the same thing. They're going to look back on what's being done now and go, can you believe they were doing this? Can you believe they were doing that? Just as we can do today. And just as they did 100 years ago. And just, you know, this, is, this has been the progression. But there's always stupid things being done. No matter what generation you're in, you're always going to find things that are done that are not right. But thank God, his word doesn't change. And if we can go and find our principles and just basic truths, we could find them all here from Scripture, and we should be able to apply that to everything else. 